So this time on Ask APT, I thought we'd have a quick look at what an operator can do before they use a machine that uses hydraulics to make sure that the system works and that there isn't any problems um, that might affect them or anyone working around them. So let's have a quick skirt around this machine. This is a knuckle boom cherry picker. Um, all, thanks to Allfabs for letting us borrow this one for a weekend. Let's have a quick walk around and check it out. So I'm only going to look at the hydraulics on the machine. I'm not going to really talk about everything else. So if we quickly look at, we've got across the back here as we walk up to the machine, we can see we've got some hoses and a cylinder there on each side of the machine. So the first thing to look at is how are the hoses, how do they look, are there any problems with them, and let's have a good look around where they might interact with the tyre and make sure that they're not rubbing, and particularly have a good look around where they're clamped, make sure there's no damage, because that's, that's an area where they'll leak, or even worse, they might burst as well. Look at things like fittings, make sure there's no leaks, no wet, no weeping. Then have a look at the cylinder itself, and particularly down at the bottom where the gland or the rod goes through the front. Make sure there's no leaks down there and there's no obvious signs that there's any damage down there. As we go along to the compartment where we've got all the com components or most of the hydraulics, first thing to look at is the hydraulic oil level. It should be about halfway up the side glass, which is fairly standard. And that's with everything parked. Then let's have a look at the main manifold. So we've got all of these solenoid valves here on the front. We've also got all the hose connections up top. So we're looking for any leaks or weeping. Also having a look at the air cooler or the oil cooler. And moving, keep moving along. Have a look around where we've got hoses that move or join into the machine. And particularly where they're clamped, make sure that there's no obvious signs of leaks. Looking at cylinders again, make sure there's nothing wrong in there. Check the hoses all the way along the boom on this particular one. And this one's got a Brett B on it, which the hoses all run in. So we're looking for anywhere where it might be rubbing, particularly around this radius here. We're obviously going to get some issues there if there is a problem. So moving to the middle of the machine, again, where things move and they might rub. So we're looking for anything that might be going on in here. So again, generally what we're looking for is leaks. Leaks are going to be the big issue around that. Have a look at the radius there. So the hoses, we don't want them to be crinking too tightly, otherwise they may get damaged. And then we sort of walk our way back along the machine, and now we're into the engine side of the machine on this one. So again, we're looking at where the hoses run through the machine. We've got a slew motor there, looking at the fittings. Uh, we're looking at the manifold again. So the manifold for leaks, any damage to the hoses or valves. And then we keep looking around in the driver's compartment. We've got the pump there, um, any, any issues, filters, and particularly around the seal for the filters. So we might find leaking and weeping around the top of the filters here. And so we're looking for that sort of stuff. And a quick look around. So that's basically the whole machine. And as you can see, this particular machine is in pretty good condition. So as an operator, don't get caught all the way up here wondering about what you could have looked at down there. It's so much easier to check it before you get up here and it's everyone's job to check it. So you might think that the maintenance guys are gonna check it out and make sure that the machine's okay for you and they will do the best job they can do. But it's really important that you take responsibility for yourself and check the stuff that's down there before you get up here and wonder if it's all gonna be okay.